Hey there everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser. Uh, one of the many questions we get when it comes to the support of our machines is, hey, my laser isn't cutting quite right, what's going on? Um, I put a circle into RE3 and it's not a perfect circle. Well, that usually tells us that your gantry isn't square. That's why today I'm gonna walk you through how to square the gantry. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so we are here with our Muse 3D Hobby Laser. So first things first, we need to make sure that our gantry is indeed out of square. So what we're gonna do is we just need to move your gantry all the way to the front. Our machine is powered off right now, so that allows the gantry to move freely. If your laser is on, that's okay. Just make sure you press the unlock button and then that will give you movement with your gantry. So we're gonna move it all the way to the front and then I'm gonna grab my uh, handy dandy camera here to show you what we're looking for. If we look down here, there shouldn't be any space between this part, which is the, the, the gantry, and this piece right here. Make sure that there's no space. So on this side, we're good. However, if we go over to the other side, there is some space. See, between here and that. So our gantry is indeed out of square, so we're gonna need to fix that. Alrighty, next up, we need to grab our little tool bag that should have come with your Muse. Uh, this has some thermal paper, your focus billet, and a pair of Allen wrenches, and we're going to grab the larger of the two Allen wrenches, and we are going to remove this shroud, because we need to get back here. Alrighty, so we just need to remove three screws on the back here, so we're going to start with this guy. Now watch out because there are little tiny washers. Make sure you don't lose them. Just make sure they come off with the screw there. There we go. And we're gonna do all three of these. Now they shouldn't be on too tight and when you refasten them, uh, you don't have to tighten them too much because this is just uh, a protective cover and it's not gonna move or anything. Allen wrench is being uncooperative, so I'm just going to hand loosen it. There we go. And now we pull this out. Easiest way is to keep it in place and move the left side caddy corner to the front, lift it out, and then lift the whole thing out. And we are all set. Next, we just have to, I'm gonna grab my little camera again and I'll show you what we're looking for. We're gonna go down here below our tube and we're looking for this guy right here. Now this is the rod that makes the gantry on both sides move at the same time. So these little screws right here, we need to loosen these. Get my Now these are going to be pretty tight because these are holding this gantry rod in place. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed so it's a little tough. Alrighty. Now once this is loose, you will be able to move either side independently of one another. So you can kind of see. Now all we're going to do is we're going to push this up to the front. See, we don't have any space anymore. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. There is a little bit of space, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this to the front, make sure that there's no space, and then we're gonna tighten that guy back up again. So, uh, pardon me, I'm gonna have to put this camera down, so we'll get you back with the main camera. Holding this with my arm. And once 
this screw is loose, this silver drum uh, will actually rotate, so you can rotate it where you need it to. And we're just going to tighten those screws back up nice and tight. All right. Now we should be good. So, move our laser and let's check with our camera once more. I have it moved all the way up to the front. No space here. And no space here. So we are good. Our gantry is square once again. It's super simple. I hope that helped. That's terrifying. <laughs> I hope that helped everybody. Uh, it's really, really simple. Uh, after this point, you're just gonna wanna unlock your gantry and uh, make sure your laser homes and you will be done after that. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions about maintenance, hit us up in the comments or talk to us on Facebook. And until next time, keep making.